Oh, oh God, he hit the board. Wow. Look at these fish right here. These fish hanging right in those rocks. Mm-hmm. That's where they fingers are all white. See those fish hanging in those rocks right there? The orange orange board's gonna go nuts here. Uh-oh. He's gone. Ah! What the heck happened? Uh-oh. He's gone. Ah! What the heck happened? Yeah, it must have been a small guy. Look there. Oh man. Back. Eating that dog on bait alive. He's on top. Look at that. He's on top. He's no way, bro. Chasing that bait. Yep. Yeah. There's fish still here. Oh, he popped up on it again. Bait me. Bait. Lots of fish in those rocks, man. Yeah. Put the board on back. Huh? There are fish swimming with it? Sure. Look at all these fish right here. Pulling boards up on the banks and stuff like this in this river system, you need to have side scan, man. I mean, if you want to mark them anyway. All those fish. Uh, well, I have stacks, so I have oh, braid. So braid behind. Yeah, I have uh, uh, 50 yards of, of braid and about one. There's just under 200 yards on there, which is a lot for. Yeah. That's uh big fish. Yeah, that's fish. Right here. Yeah. Those those big ones right there, I mean that that's those big uh shadows man. That's a nice fish to the left here. That's a really good fish right there. There's multiple fish. Two, three fish on the left right here. They're here right off the port side, you see how long they are? You only get that with the active imaging transducer. I've used 3D and all the other ones. And how far out are they? Like? To mark fish, 30 feet, 25 feet. You see how far they are over the bottom return? Usually you only get shadows out there when the fish are here, but to get the returns actually that far, I've only had that with active imaging. Yeah, they're long fish, they're swimming along. You watch those back boards. Yeah, those, they're, they're right over them fish. The other side uh, it'll show the shadows usually, but not, that. But not the return. Okay. The, the, with regular, any other side scan I've used, even other brands, mm -hmm. they do well bash, up to about you know, you know about that far into land. Of course, it's different whenever the range mm -hmm. is, you know. But you'll see the shadows a lot, but not the returns unless they're really close to the boat. When they get further out, and you see them, I only really see that with the active imaging. That's what I love about it the most. Because I see actual fish, not just the shadows, and I see more fish. Not right there. That's about all I gotta do that. Right here, keep an eye on this one. Close one? That front that front board just got a little uh got this little, one right here on the inside. Got a little yeah. inches. Sure did. Front boat, backboard just got it. There we go! Fish on! Fish on! Fish on! Catch him, baby! Catch him! <laughs> oh, yeah, I, that's the one I was watching first. I might need you to clear a line. If he's going right to the front, I'll speed us up. Yeah. He's going to look at you. Splat's loud with fear.
Oh, you know what? He wants to right, come up to the front. He's beating us. <laughs> We're plowing mud. Yep, he's beating us. Now trim your motor up. Get your big motor. Oh boy. Hold on, hold on, wait, That's how Look. shallow we are right there, man. Turning the mud up. Why don't you get a net for him up front? Pretty fish there, buddy. Yeah, brother. Just come up here and lip him. Come here and lip him. Pretty fish. That's a chunker. brother. Fish, buddy. You got to get white. That's a Dave Farley special there. <laughs> Slam that good size gizzard. About a 30, 31 inch. Nice fish, bud. There you go. Yeah. Brady, you're gonna break the ice, bud. Congratulations, you, brother. Good job, man. Thank you, buddy. He you breaks your neck, too. I'm glad it wasn't a circle hook. <laughs> What's that? I believe the fishing got better instead of moving. If you've never pulled planer boards before, you know, or, or fish live bait, it's a great way to get these baits up in shallow water. It's the winter time right now, it's February. These fish are up in only two feet of water here. Lots of shad up in here, really big gizzard shad. And that's where the stripers are gonna be, so. There's lots of them up in here too, so. Best presentation if you're a live bait guy, is to pull them with boards and floats, nice and shallow. Right behind the board, we've had fish come up and smack at the board out of anger, you know? That board will attract them. You never use live bait before, it's a great way to, great way to do it, catch some good sized fish. You know, if you never did it before, and you wanna pull some boards, I have some videos showing how we put them out. And uh, just start with one or two boards, you know, and each, do one on each side and maybe one float in the middle. Pull that till you're comfortable. Then if you wanna add a second float or a pair of TOS floats, and then just add a board on each side you know, until you're comfortable. If you're not comfortable with uh, multiples, three, four boards, just do one or two on each side. That's, that's a great way to fish. You don't need a million boards, you know, especially if you found the fish nice and thick like we got them today. It's all about presentation, you know? All right, guys, prime example why a side scan is so important. You can see we're not marking anything below us, but you look and you'll see all these striped bass in here that are up here on this bank. They're right there. Only 10 feet of water. Mm. Next time you're out there with your side scan, go in. if you can mark fish in 10 feet of water, see if they're that far up on the bank. And not just the shadows, if you know what I mean. All the way out to 40 feet plus, really, the range just changed. But all the way up there, not just the shadows, but we're getting the returns out there. That's love that about active imaging. Very valuable on a day like this. All right, Dave, it's freezing cold. Woo! for the winter time. One hammer. A little gizzard action. What a 12, 13, 12. Nine. Woo! Eight. Everything I got's running. Yeah, right, you're shivering so darn much. <laughs> Yeah, he gently squeezes the fish. I won't put fishing up the top. Go fishy, fishy. See, when you use them, if you don't catch nothing, you're still reeling a fish. I wish it would just be a little colder so it would snow. <laughs> it would be a whole lot drier. I can't tell if my nose is running or it's raining. I think it's both. All right. Gizzard Shad is on the menu today. They're decent size. They're not like freakish or nothing. Yeah. 
never want to net a bunch like this, but you guys are special, so. I'll net a bunch for you. Here's a pretty one. Watch this. Watch this inside one. Oh, oh God, he hit the board. Wow, smacked the board. That board ticked him off. Did you see what a body on that I fish? Did. I didn't. Oh, he got him now. He swarped actually chewed at the board. See the vibe tip still bouncing. I knew we shouldn't have went nowhere. We don't need to go nowhere. Same we do in salt, same we do in fresh, just pulling boards, getting them up on the bank, real shallow, only two feet of water where he just hooked that last fish. No weights on these, just letting them swim. Pulling along with the trolling motor. Right, now you can do it. He hit it. Woo! Woo! Hit it. Woo! Come here, brother. Fish all! Fish all! He's a screamer! He's a screamer! He's a screamer! Don't set the hook like I did. Don't <laughs> set the hook. Just pick it up and fight. That's a good fish, I believe. Come back under that. Help him out, man. Help. You gotta go under that rod. There you go. I'm speeding this up so that fish is gonna come back. It's like that dragon. No, no, it's good. It's good. It just seems to be taking this change, huh? I sped us up so that go fish. Right. Go right where I am. I had to speed us up to get that fish to come back. Pouring rain out here on Smith Mountain. I'm speeding this up, so it should be good. All right, so it's very important here to use your trolling motor because I don't want we want to keep these other lines in. And if he has, if Mark has to circle the boat, that means I'm screwing up. I'm keeping this fish right here with the power of the trolling motor. Now, uh, connect this fish. You got a net. Yeah, why don't you hand it back? Go ahead, hand it back to Mr. Farley. Farley, drop that rod and net that fish for him. So you see how important it is to manage the boat. You know, uh, that fish automatically made a beeline for the bank when it was hooked. And we're already moving with the trolling motor, so I don't have to do much. But I just sped us up real quick to pull that fish back behind the boat. Made a slight right turn. Fish stayed right on the right side of the boat. Pretty fish, huh? Sir. The way he sawed off, I thought he was a giant. You're gonna though. quit trolling and doing some live bait. I might have to, or at least add it to your repertoire, right? You don't have to add it. Yeah. A good striper fisherman does it all. Yeah, that's right. Go, I'll just, come on this side. Good striper fisherman does it all. Okay. We got fish right here too. She's holding on your thumb, wasn't he? Yeah. Bit right down on it. Pretty. Hey, you can still see her in that water. Good job, brother. Sir, found Good my job, potato. Man. Good job, bro. Good job, Good job Mr. Farrells. We got to show you guys this. You see what we just came through? All these big marks right here. We thought they might be stripers, but if you look in the water, I don't know if you can see the stains. The stained clouds, that's all carp. They're in there just stirring up the mud, eating all the muck out of the bottom, whatever they're rooting around for. Right up there on that bank, and that's what they look like. Watch one of them rods, both of them go off. Yeah, I wish. If there was, <laughs> that would be awesome. If it did, we're going to be turning around quick. Yeah. But this carp ain't going to do it. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? All right, we're out here carp. on Smith Mountain Lake. It's a friend of mine, David Farley. He's been out here fishing Smith Mountain Lake for a long time. I've known Dave for about four or five years now. He came up and fished Boston with us with Joe Marciano. And he's been trying to get me to come to Smith Mountain Lake with him here. And I did it in the NSBA days. Me and some buddies had a great time doing the NSBA. We just come here quite a bit, but I haven't been here in at least 10 years. So we're pulling some planer boards with some good sized gizzard shad. And Dave, if someone is new to pulling bait and they, you know, say that they troll or they're a caster and they want to get into bait, uh, outside of setting up boards and all that, I have videos for that, but give them a couple tips that. May jump them up a couple years and experience right away. What, what kind of 
advice would you give them? Everybody, I, just fish with as many people as you can because everybody I go with, every time I go, I've learned something new every time. I mean, it's yeah. no matter who you go with. That's great advice. Um, fresh bait, big bait. Don't be scared to go shallow. A lot of people pull straight down flats or straight down channels and won't cut in the flats. Just a minute ago, what we, three foot of water? Yeah. We Catch a kicking, fish in three foot of water. We were kicking mud up. So definitely don't be scared of shallow water at all. That's one thing. Uh, I always cut in cuts. Instead of pulling, like I said, I'll go back in little little guts when a lot of people pull straight. Just a bunch of little things like that. All right, if uh, it's April, no one's, uh, someone's never done this before in April, where would you go? What area, you don't have to give spots away, of course. No, that's but. fine. I would, uh, I would go to any creeks in the backs of creeks shallow uh, if you got any current at all try to go pull some current um, if you don't have current just go to, go to backs of creeks and anywhere just near bait where some big bait and pull big bait fall when would you do it in fall where would you go where's a good place to start if you i would do more mid lake and still creeks but that wouldn't go as far back in the creeks mm -hmm. it just depends i mean i've caught them in the backs of creeks under in 40 degrees under the ice under the edges i think a lot outside the lines and go go shallow a lot i mean just plumb back where people wouldn't even think about going the reason we're asking mr farley here is he does very well on this lake he has a lot of top top five finishes actually a lot of uh first place finishes we were talking earlier how many first places do you have say in the last uh, 10 tournaments 10 tournaments yeah one five i think or no five or six you won five or six first places yeah i won we won all four mm -hmm. last year and this year i've won one and finished fifth in the other and, and it was 64 boats in the last tournament that's tough to argue with man it's, consistency is the name of the game that's the toughest thing to achieve as a freshwater striper fisherman or any salt water anything any any fisherman to be honest with you Consistency, hmm. it's impressive, Dave. And don't over uh, overthink things. You know, like people will start get on a game plan and be on their pattern all week pre-fishing, and the first thing they do during tournament day is change up and get scared of doing what they normally would do. Yeah. Just, just stick with it and believe in it. We're out here on Smith Mountain. We've got some new buddies. Been friends with Dave for a long time, but got this guy. How you doing? Mark. Great day out here. His name is Mark. He's a Sagittarius. He likes long walks on the beach and rainy days on Smith Mountain Lake. <laughs> you give him a call on Thursdays, not Fridays. We've got some big parties on Fridays, but give him a call on Thursdays. He'll party with you anywhere. He likes to set the hook hard. Yes, sir. Even when they're screaming. Learning. Learn something new every time. Hey, he had one bite. He caught one fish. So we call a thousand. And over here, we got Big Sexy. I like the Bill Benson syndrome. He bought two Next Wave Sea Pros. Yes, sir. He loves it. How you liking that boat? I love my boat. 228 and a 248. Hell yeah. What do you fish normally? Uh, High Rock Lake, Baden Lake, Hickory, just local lakes to Lexington, North Carolina. So you're, uh, I know you're a big troller, so this is new to you pulling boards. This is brand new to me. I like it though. It's fun, right? Oh yes, awesome. A little bit of rain, a little bit of rain. That's it.